Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. This is going to be a collective haul. It's going to be eBay, Hobby Lobby, and um, Amazon. So I didn't see the point of like doing multiple itty bitty videos. So, and I haven't done a lot of shopping, but um, yeah. And it is Saturday, the day before Easter. And let me tell you, the roads were insane today. Absolutely insane. I think I spent more time stuck in traffic than I did accomplishing my chores today, which is interesting. But anywho, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around to spell. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Ding that bell next door if you want to get notifications of my future videos. Thumbs up, likes, always appreciated. And any questions or comments, please leave them down below. So the first two things I'm going to share with you are related. Um, they were purchased separately. Uh, a lot of y'all know I adore house mouse and i adore stamparosa um stamparosa used to be the only one that carried house mouse until uh it dissolved and i believe it's now stampendous or stamp abilities that carries them but i prefer if i can get my hands on the stamparosa ones and, but that's just my preference i have a really large collection of them and this is my latest edition. I've actually had it for a little bit and was holding on to it to share. But, I mean, hello. It's all about watercoloring. Uh, it says, the farmer's friend, uh, Granger's something powder. <laughs> and then you have all the little um, friends. He's getting his nose painted right there. This is probably Muzzy. He gets into a lot of trouble. I believe that is Monica the baby. Because uh, it doesn't... Yeah, it says Muzzy, Amanda, Mud Pie, Maxwell, and Monica. So that's probably Maxwell. Maxwell is really bad. He gets into lots of mischief. And this is Design of the Month, March 2001. And Stampa Rosa, just so you know, they dissolved in 2000. I want to say it's uh, three or 2006. So, which is really sad. Um, you know, basically a victim of the big, you know, the big box stores and online. Um, but if I can find, you know, small brick and mortars, I try to go to them uh, so that we can keep them going. But this was my latest eBay. I got it last month, I think. And it's called Mousterpiece makers so there's that and this i had never heard of it before but basically it is um a stamp positioner and along the lines i've got two of them and i can't think of what the, the, their names have totally um oh the stamp of a jig you know the little the little um bar and you use it with basically acetate um I did not know that Stamparosa had one of these, and it's called the 2-in-1 Perfect Positioner. I haven't tried it yet. It didn't come with the acetate. And if you're wondering, like, what do you need acetate for? What you, you, you use these and the Stampamajig for your woodblock stamps. And so say you want to stamp a bunch of items and you want them all to be the same. Well, it's hard to do with uh, wood blocks. And how you handle that is the same thing with the stamp of majig. You posit you you stamp your image on the piece of acetate. Um, I want to say, is it first? Which one is? It? I can't think right now. Which one you can wipe off? I can't think of the ink that you can wipe off right now so if somebody can um do it down below but you stamp on the acetate you put your cardstock down you put the acetate on top of where you want it well is that right no i hear you baby girl what come here Y'all hear her. It's it's her fussing. She's got to be wherever mommy is. Come here. That little motor. 
If you're new to my channel, this is my baby girl, Karma. Um, she loves to uh, make cameos. Uh, well, she's my little shadow, basically. But uh, anyway, you put your cardstock down. You put the acetate on top. And then you take your stamp and you stamp uh, after you on the acetate. And then you pull the image up, you leave the acetate, and then you move your card around so it's positioned on your cardstock where you want it. Once it's uh, in that position, um, I would take washi tape, hold your cardstock. Basically, this is the really hard way that you, to, you used to do it before uh, acrylic stamps and the stamp positioners that we have out now. Um, then you can pull up your acetate. Your, your cardstock is in its position. And then you can stamp on your card. And then if you don't get a good stamped image, you can pull the block off, ink it up again, and then come back down again. But um, that's the way it works with the stamp a jig I'm going to assume it's the same with this. Um, so there were no there was no stamping directions with this, but I know that's how I used my stamp a jig stamp a jig back in the day. Um, but if you're having struggles with your wood blocks, you can still get the stamp of jigs on the market. Um, I think they have them at Hobby Lobby. I haven't looked. But anywho, I thought this was interesting and I picked it up. And you can... This pops up. So it's got these little pegs in here that holds it in place. But this does come off so you can clean everything. So... But anywho, those were my eBay finds. Karma, you, you, you probably have to move, sweetie. My Amazon finds. Now, I store all my stamps and... Oh, you got to get out of there. And dies in pockets. And this was a different brand. This was actually listed as a DVD pocket. Um, so if you wanted to reduce the bulk of your DVD collection, you pull everything out of the folder, smush down your your um, like your your the outside of your DVD. You know the the slide in that tells the movie and all that. You are just being nosy, baby girl. Um, these are a much lighter weight. Great, now I have karma hair everywhere. Uh, but th this was really cheap. This was, I think it was 100 count. No, this was 80 count. I'm sorry, this was 200 uh, sleeves. And I think I paid $11 for 200 sleeves. But like I said, this is not the heavier weight uh, pockets. Uh, that you know I have down in my description, but it, you'll if you're interested, I'm gonna put the non. I am affiliated with Amazon, but I'm not gonna mess with trying to find that link. I'll just put it down in the description for you if you want to try these. I mean, 200 is a really is a lot, and like I said, I think it was 11, 11 or 12 dollars for all of these. I think. Um, but I'll put these down in the description. I will say, though, the shipping was not fantastic. It came uh, ripped like this, ripped open. So, anyway, so that was an Amazon purchase. Then, because y'all know I've been building up my stencil stash, I wanted some detail stencil brushes. I used to, I've been stenciling since I was probably eight or nine years old. My grandmother has always, you know, we've always been into something with her. And so she taught me how to stencil when I was little. And I saw this set. I want to say this was a fairly expensive set for what you get. Um, let me see if I can open it up on my iPad. I should have done this for you guys before I started, but we know I don't I don't ro roll like that. Uh, where you at Amazon? 
my favorite, basically my favorite store. There we go. But what I liked about these was the fact that the bristles are tightly packed and they're really short. And what I like about them being really short is you have more control over uh, the area you're inking. To me, the longer the bristles, the less control you have. Uh, that's my opinion, though. Come on. Okay. This set... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you the, the current price on these. Okay, my bad. $20, but that is 200 sleeves. That's still a really good deal. Um, then these guys... I ordered these on the 15th. $15 for these four little brushes. I wanted to give them a try. Um... So I, I picked them up. I haven't tried them yet, but again, you know, I was more interested in, I wanted to try them out because I really liked the short uh, bed on the bristles. So there were those. And then I found these ones and Now, this was a good deal. I ordered two sets of these. So each set came with two sets, so I got four. And these are um, called Ink Blending Brushes for Card Making, Three Count, and that, you know, that's it. They're just really small brushes, but they're basically stencil brushes. The bristles are just like the ones that come on our, you know, our, our blending brushes that we use for our ink. But you have these three small sizes. And like I said, for $11.98, basically you get two of each. You get two of the large, two of the medium, and two of the small. So I was really excited about that. And I love that, you know, they came, they each came in a pocket. So, I mean, if you want to, you know, label one blues, reds, purple, you know, each set a specific color family, you can go that route. Now, like I said, I haven't tested them as far as, you know, cleanup and transfer of ink from color to color. But I wanted to give them a try. Like I said, it's $11.98 to get um, two sets. You can order a single set, but it's cheaper to do the double set because a single set is seven, basically $7 for one of these. So buying one set of these for seven versus two sets for 11, you're saving $3 right there. And, you know, if I buy two sets, technically I'm getting one free if you if you do the breakdown if I'm doing my math right so you went down now so anyway I got those that is my Amazon like I said I haven't it's not a lot that's why I wanted to combine hey little fluffy girl and then we have my Hobby Lobby come here and I went looking for <laughs> more stencil brushes because I'm trying to find there are some there are some brushes that are cut that are like these but they have a round they're really they're packed really dense just like these but they have more of a a rounded top uh kind of like um these ones here but in a stick form instead of the brush form and they didn't have it. They have all the regular flat um, face stencil brushes. So I passed. But they had 40% off Easter and spring. And so I picked up two sets 
of these um, decorative eggs. Uh, and these are just for Easter to pour. They're not for me to do anything crafty. Uh, but if I wanted to, I could paint them and also use them for the same um, projects as I'm using the real eggs for. So these were 40% off each. So that's what, uh, 4 times 7 is what, 24. So I got 240 off of each of these. So basically, um, 5 no, four. I can't do math. Anyway, so I got two of those. I picked up two of these um, paper mache packs of eggs. They were $8.99 a piece. You get 12. Oh, look, that's. Oh, I guess I should have checked better. This one was ripped open. Oh, well. But there's. In a minute, honey. Um. But they're the exact same shape as an egg, so again, 40% uh, off those, so I got two sets of those, and <laughs> how about that, we have another one down here. So, there is that. I got this for the kitchen from the spring shop. Uh, it's a silicone bowl scraper, but I also like that it had the measurements on there. But I, I'm one of those. I'm one of those that scrapes bowls. and But I liked that this was, like, in my hand. So, uh, $1.60 off of that. This was regular price. Um, I love the E6000. And um, I liked that this one, I could have gotten the bigger tube, but this one has the, the smaller, more precise nozzles on them. So I, I grabbed one of those to have. And the last item, um, all the die cutting was 40% off. And so I saw this set. And this is a Tim Holtz. It is called Countryside. And I'm a y'all know I'm a sucker for paper piecing, you know, but they're using craft. You could also do this. Well, I guess you would want to do craft if you wanted it to kind of look like snowflakes in the back. Or you can do it in white. But uh, yeah, so that was it. That is my collective haul from Hobby Lobby, Amazon and eBay. And I'm, I'm really excited to give these a try and these a go. And I think what I'll do is I'll probably get a bunch of these and have a set for my oxides and a set for my um, regular distress inks. Because that's actually what I wanted to use them for, were, was for my distress inks and oxides. So, any hoo-ha. That's it. That is my haul. Crafty and non-crafty. But, um, anywho, I'm gonna let y'all go because I got, uh, I did some carpet cleaning yesterday. I'm doing some more today, so all that fun stuff. But, anywho, y'all have a great night. I hope everyone has an amazing Easter. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. I will try to, I will Try to remember to put the link to this, um, to these and to these down in the description. Um, in this video, I will put the non-affiliate link and then going forward, I'm going to put the affiliate links further down. I mean, if it makes a difference to you, some people do not like using affiliate links. Um, if I come across a channel that I find a tool that I like, I use them because I wouldn't have known about it if I didn't see it on their channel. But anywho, that's me. Uh, happy Easter, everyone. Love y'all to pieces. As always, happy crafting. Bye-bye.